Alright, hey guys, and welcome to another Sonic Collectible Reviews video. Today I'm going to be showing you a set of four digital clocks from Japan made in 1998, and the set consists of Tails, Sonic, Dr. Eggman, or Robotnik, and Amy. Now, let me start off with the Sonic clock. So here's the Sonic, and as you can see, it's actually a hard plastic clock, and the detail is sort of beveled, and it lifts off the rest of the piece of plastic, so if you run your finger across the black outlines, um, it's actually sort of like a texture to it, so all the black is slightly lifted off the plastic. Now, I'm not sure if mine are working or whatnot, I haven't really tried, I don't really care, I mean they're from 1998, you can't expect them to function totally properly. Um, I got it just because they're really nice display figures. We, you know, if you have a Tails collection, you know, you stick the Tails one by your Tails collection. If you have a Sonic collection, you know, you kind of make this the centerpiece because it's got his name there and everything. Nice classic pose. Um, and I'll get to the other figures in a second. But once again, classic Sonic finger waving pose. Really, really nice piece. Um, I don't have the boxes for these. They originally came in sort of like these cardboard boxes, but that's fine because I, I really wanted to display these out of the box anyway. I'll move on to Tails next. Here's the Tails figure. Um, not too bad. Definitely a piece that Tails collectors uh, are looking out for. Same thing on the back. They tell you 1998, Sega. And overall, just a really nice center display for your Tails collection. And these figures, if you can't tell, they're very, very bright and vivid in their color. Here's the Dr. Eggman one, and this is a really, really, I, I know, I'm not a huge fan of uh, Dr. Robotnik or Eggman, but I really like this pose from him, the big grin, arms folded at his sides, it's just a really awesome figure, and I have a small Dr. Robotnik uh, collection going on, and this is definitely, it, it, it makes the collection even better that I have. Now moving on to Amy, or Amy, as they spell it on here. Uh, now this is probably just some sort of a translation error or something because Amy's name is obviously spelled A-M-Y and not A-M-M-Y. So it's sort of like a typo mistranslation thing somewhere. I don't know what they were thinking when they did this, but somehow it got released on the clock itself. And this is a nice Amy figure, um, or clock I should say. And I also have a small uh, classic Amy collection. I'm not big on the redesigned Amy, you know, from Sonic Adventure. I prefer the classic design much more, the design that they used in Sonic CD. And this is a very nice clock pose. She's sort of shy, you can kind of tell she's uh, probably thinking about Sonic here. But once again, I mainly bought the set so that I can have the Sonic figure clock. Um, the other characters were sort of just like an added bonus. So, there you go guys. That's my review on these four classic style plastic digital clocks from 1998 and if you enjoyed this review be sure to check out my channel where I'm reviewing my Sonic collection piece by piece over time and if you enjoyed this review be sure to check out my channel subscribe if you enjoy the videos thanks for watching